Back, Chinese tech and education stocks plunging today on the latest round of regulatory pressure. Look at those moves, Steve Weiss. We've talked to you about some of these names which you used to invest in in the past, not the ones that are specifically on the screen at that moment, but the Alibabas of the world, for example, which you tell us now you are short again, that you're also short Pinduo Duo uh, and B-I-L-I. -I. Can you tell our viewers a little bit more, please? Yeah, you can't own these stocks. It's almost irresponsible as a fund manager to. When the people tell me they're cheap, I said, how do you know that? What are you valuing? You own a VIE structure, period, which a lot of lawyers in China and elsewhere think is illegal in China, and Chinese governments always come out against them. So you may wind, wind up with owning a bagel, owning zero. So they are going lower. We're in a Cold War. The new weaponry in Cold War is financial and hacking. This is financial. The Chinese government's cutting back on billionaires. You think they're going to be kind to shareholders in the U.S.? Just get out. Find other ways to lose money if that's your thing, or find ways to make money in other tech stocks. Stay away from these. Too much risk. I mean, that's what Kramer said this morning, too. Whatever it is, you have to get out. He said, Pete, I mean, do you dare stick your toe in the options pool here? Because a lot of these names There's have sold only... off so much, or, or what? Yeah, you know what? What we're seeing, Scott, and this is some a tr certain trends that we do see occasionally with the options world. And what we're seeing lately has been some buying, some upside call buying in some of these names. And a lot of the names that you mentioned as we came in, the TALs of the world and PDD, and you go through the long list, X, you know, the, the, the FXI, all of which have been getting hammered and all of which we're seeing some upside call buying. Here's the thing. When they don't, when, that, when they're wrong time after time after time, I think those are the times where we have to say, you know what, we're going to hold off for right now. So uh, I would agree with Steve, and I've said this for a while now, those Chinese names, I am not owning those stocks. I'll own the options at times with both calls and puts, but in terms of the stocks themselves, I, th I just think there's too much going on behind the scenes right now to make sense, and we can't make sense of it. We don't even know the legalities of a lot of the things that are going on. And as Steve said, this is the Cold War and the financial aspect of it. So there's a lot going on. There's no doubt about it. But I think you can be in some of the options here and there. I specifically still like the EV space when I'm looking at China. But outside of that, I think you have to be hands-off right now. And I think if you're going to want to participate at all, it's going to have to be in the options world. I mean, but what if